Islam is deeply concerned with the fair and just economic system. From its earliest emergence, Islam has strongly emphasized the necessity of maintaining the validity of business transactions to avoid all types of fraud for a particular interest. The Prophet himself was reported to have frequently inspected marketplace to make sure that people do their business fairly and no cheating. The establishment of the Hizbah institution is meant to assist people of Bengali follow this proper standard of morality. The word Hizbah literally means accountability. Technically, according to Amawadi, is enjoining what is right when it is found to be neglected and forbidding what is wrong when the, it is found to be practiced. The most of the time, they command the good and forbid the evil. How many people have heard that before? Command the good, forbid the evil, right? You've heard that before, right? Very, very shallow translation. Ya'murun means it's a spectrum of things. Amr means suggesting something, advising something, trying to convince someone to do something, you know, encouraging someone to do something, and commanding someone to do something. Is there a difference between suggesting and encouraging and commanding? There is, right? It starts with suggestion. And you know there are different situations. I give you a real life, ex really simple example. I love simple examples. Or I think they're simple. Right? Dinner's ready. I'm gonna call my dad to dinner, and I'm gonna call my son to dinner. Dad is downstairs, son is upstairs. I'm gonna say to my son, dinner's ready. I'm gonna say to my dad, Abba, uh, dinner's ready. I did Amr in both cases. In one case I used authority, in the other case I used respect, request, right? Two different things, two different situations. Amr bil ma'roof depends on the situation. You don't go commanding people. You don't take out your, you know, your haram gun and haram, 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 haram. Like, yeah, everything's haram. You can't do that, don't do that, no, no, no. And we have unfortunately some of this social constipation in our masajid in some places. Our messenger said, Nabi Sa'id al-Khudriyi radiyallahu anhu qal Sami'tu Rasulallah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul Man ra'a minkum فليغيره بيده فإن لم يستطع فبلسانه فإن لم يستطع فبقلبه وذلك أضعف الإيمان The function of his bar consists of maintaining public law and order and supervising the behavior of buyers and sellers in the market with a view to ensure the right conduct. In this regard, the Prophet himself has acted as the first muhtasib or person responsible for the maintenance of his bar. Subsequently, he appointed some of his companions to perform this duty, including Sa'i ibn al-As in Mecca and Umar bin Khattab in Madinah. It is interesting to see that some women during the era of Prophet were appointed in this position. Ibn Abu Ba narrated that Samra bin Timuhat al Asadiyah saw the messenger of Allah until she became aged. She used to tour the market to enjoy the good and forbid the evil. The Hispah continued throughout the era of the four rightly guided in the Umayyad Caliph, but the person in charge was not called Muhtasib. The term of Muhtasib was used in the era of Abbasid dynasty, al -Mah. The most important criteria for Muhtasib are sincerity, knowledge and wisdom, and might tempers. The Muhtasib cannot sit in an office waiting for complaints. He must always be out of his 
office and on the ground conducting free inspection to guarantee observance of the Shania. A good part of his day is usually spent in the marketplace where most disputes and acts of injustice may take place. As regard to the duties of enjoining good such Mr. Said must uphold and secure the very basic rights which belong to our human beings and also those rights which are mixed up together. In this situation, right of our refer to the omission of an individual Muslim towards his responsibility towards our. This can be seen in the cases due to the failure to perform fire prayer, breach of trust, does not cover him his or her aura and others. Thus, such enforcement officer could urge the people in order to abide by the commandment as well as his prohibition as prescribed. In the other hand, for the right which belong to human beings, it can be divided into two categories, namely general and also the specific one. For general rights, it can be seen in the situation whereby the mutasid makes order relating to the public facilities, for example, to use the asset taken from Batumar or text from the rich people for the purpose of emergency situation like famine, earthquake and others. Besides, by referring to the particular right, it is basically linked with certain individuals. In the matrimonial cases, the most active people could insist the husband to pay maintenance to the divorced wife and also his children after the owner has been quantified by the judge. In the modern local context, the Hizbah mechanism does not require a new department or ministry to function. For example, the best way to implement the principle of Hizbah in Malaysia is through existing agencies such as the Malaysia Anti-Corruption Commission MACC, National Audit Department of Malaysia, Local District Council, the Religious Affairs Department, and the Human Rights Commission of Malaysia, Suhakam. In the business context, normally, accountants, auditors, audit committees, and whistleblowers are those people interested to play the role of Muhtasib in the organization. Business owners need to ensure that these Muhtasib are responsible to create a more ethically in their organization and subsequently minimize the potential of fraud. To sum up, it can be concluded very light that the institution of his bar has proved its significance as well as the implication of the medium of the enforcement unit in Islam. The general concept of Hizbah is aimed at enjoining good and forbidden evil which refers to the administrative affairs to Islamic 